Stuff. Married man, my boy. Man. Feels good. I feel I feel like I completed my full story arc. It's really cool because I'm 28 years old now. I feel like the timing was perfect, right? Made a million at, at 24, partied my fucking face off, smashed a bunch of women, traveled the world, partied, had my like phase, right? Like that Wolf of Wall Street, fucking Justin Bieber, just dirty dog phase, you know? Um, so I had my phase, I did that thing, and then from there I, I uh, found a wife, got married, settled down. Got your Haley Baldwin. I got that fucking, I got that like, that complete story arc. Cause oh, yeah. I would hate to, to not have the first part. Cause now it's like you got married, but then like I think people end up, marriages end up falling because oh, you didn't get it out of the way, now you're stressed out, mm -hmm. right? But now that I got it out, I'm never gonna be like, well, what if? And, and vice versa, if someone goes and fucks around their entire life and never gets married, they're gonna be like, what if I would've gotten married? What I have, what I have found happiness. I had both already, so it's like now at this point, I'm I'm cool. I get to build. I'm in a I'm in a great place, bro. Yeah, yeah. I think you you went through all of the phases the right way. Yeah. Because um, when when you're in that what would they would consider the douchebag phase. Fuck boy when phase. You're, when you're in your fuck boy phase and you're going through it, you didn't you didn't look at it like all right, well I'm just gonna get all this out of my system and then I'll decide to settle down in the future. It was like well that's what you were feeling like at that particular moment. You didn't really care too much about what was you know going on down the line. And then yeah. ultimately when you made it through, it was like ah oh, well this was cool, but yeah I don't think it's that sustainable. Let me go get off the yeah. market. Yeah. Well I think you just feel lonely at some point. Right. There's like there's because. There's, there's loneliness, physical loneliness. I think as a guy, if you're alone, you're not getting pussy. You're lonely physically, mm -hmm. right? But then there's emotional loneliness where it's like you could have people that talk to you and like be with girls, but then you still feel some sort of like loneliness. There's a yearning. You feel alone even when you're not alone. Right, right. And I think that that's what marriage and stuff fulfills. And also I think I've in my older age of 28. <laughs> in my, I'm, older at, age at 28. 28. Uh, you start to like think about like, man, what kind of life do I want? Right. And as a man of God, you got to be like, you know what? I, I want to get married. I want to have a wife. I want to have kids. I want to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's no way you're going to do that if you're just partying your fucking face off. So. Right. Because at one point, you're going to have to look back. You don't want to be that like a Ric Flair, per se. You don't want to yeah. be that 74-year-old dude. I saw Ric Flair. Didn't Ric Flair say something like he slept with like... Yeah, 20,000. No, no, 10, no. Maybe 40,000 women. women. That's, fuck, that's cap, bro. Yeah. Because the no thing is... Way. It, I can't say I can't say there's no way depending on how you do it because like let's, with let's Will Chamberlain per se right because okay. for one the math is crazy but you got to like consider what best sort of metric I can use Magic Johnson in the 80s right yeah. you go to all of these sex parties you go to all these sort of group orgy sort of situations once you what do up. you consider a body. A body. Because Fair. upon insert and exit, if that would be considered a body and you're like at a 60 person orgy and there's 37 women. And you're slamming like and, six, yeah. Yeah, like you just, bam, well, you, you go from one insert, yeah? alright, I'm humping here, then I'm going the other way, I'm humping there. Pelvic thrust when in different Flair, sort of directions. When did, like, so he's, so how old? Yeah, Ric Flair right now is probably about 74. When well, he retired, when he Flair, first had, it was 50, 57 in Rick 2008. So that was 15 years ago. So he's about probably about 72, 73 years old. We need to we need to get a David on the David. Can you look up Ric Flair's body count? <laughs> yeah. So I think he said he he said it oh, he had said 10, to be more okay, than 10, he said 10,000. So that's half of what Will Chamberlain and, and now said. He's 70, so he's 74 years old. Yeah, 70, 70, 70 when did he say two, this? 73. He said this in 2018, 19, I believe. 17. 17. So there he was. So he this was. He six had to years be about ago. 68. 68. Maybe about years like six, old. 68. Yeah. When do you think he lost virginity? Oh, Ric Flair? Uh, probably. He probably lost in his teenage years. So 16? Yeah, you probably around that 52 time. 52 years, 10,000 women. Right. So uh, 365 days, so that's 19,000 days about. Yep. So that's got to be a woman every... Two, two days. Every two days. He was 16. Right. And the thing is, for him, he didn't start to reach his height until um, late 20s, early 30s. And the positive for him is when he did reach his height of pro wrestling, because they consider him like the world, the greatest of all time. Now, granted, you know, it's a different, it's not like boxing or whatever the case mm -hmm. is, but because it's like soap opera for men. Yeah. And at the time, they did have a very large following of women who wanted 
to be like with the rest of the, so if you looked at like during the 80s he could have easily been able to yeah, pull multiple does, women per does, night he does this like 10 20 girls a night that that would cover him for like 20 days right so right. i could see the 10,000 number makes more sense then yeah yeah but but it the, the only issue is that he runs into when he was pushing towards 50 in the um entering the 2000s yeah. the appeal is completely different cuz a lot of times when people throw out numbers like that everybody thinks he's sleeping with like all 10s or whatever that's not the case i promise you there's you, some yeah, cans you get, in there you get a you get a little like you know yeah, you got, there's like some placenta there's, looking there's, human beings <laughs> So there's, there's that the, thing. It's like, yo, yo, uh, two, two, five, still a ten type of thing. Right, right. Because I remember I saw a clip of uh, um, John Cena on Howard Stern. He was talking yeah. about how he slept with a 280 pound woman, and then um, Howard Stern was joking, like, oh, so you slept with this with this big woman? He's like, yeah, you know, and I and I made I, I enjoyed it. And then he kind of went into detail briefly about how they were. Um, somebody came over. She had came and greeted him. She was a fan of the product or whatever. And the boys in the locker room were joking, like, I bet you would, and I bet you would. So he's like, all right, I'll take the challenge, and I bet you I'm gonna enjoy it too. I think it's not as bad when you're John Cena because you 280, you're John yeah, Cena. Yeah, because he's, 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 got, yeah, he, he's there, but then I think it's like one of those situations where for like Ric Flair, Will Cham the people who got that number at that point, it's like, um, uh, what, what was it saying? It don't you don't want to um wake up at ten? Oh yeah, you can leave the club at ten with a uh, no, leave the club at two with a ten, but you wake up at ten with a two. So that's kind of the situation that I, I think they had it, going not on. I get it. I yeah, I think there, there's a big thing to be said about like because like I said, one of my boys, he was gonna go have a threesome with these girls, but they were not pretty. But I was mm -hmm. like, listen, and he told me this, and I was like, you kind of right. He's like two five still a ten. I'm like, I get it, I get it. I would just prefer 110 over 25. Right, because ultimately down the line, you're going to look back like, man, you know, because if you were to line up everybody you ever slept with, yeah, would you feel comfortable now presenting that to the public? Because oh, yeah. you could definitely hell look at yeah, it like, bro. oh, man, I got some good ones over here. I can make this, come on now. But if you could, like, compartmentalize and choose between, like, oh, I yeah. would present this one right here. I got these, these, these. Let's row up lane number six. We'll just put that up out there. But mm -hmm. if you had the entire product, if you've been sleeping with, like, 10,000, ain't no way. I was Kobe numbers in my product. My boy, I was on some shit. 